Okay, this is Captain Taren again. In this video, we're going to talk about the uh, near coastal module, also uh, referred to as the TNAV section. Okay, so again, lampware is a very useful tool for this. The uh, near coastal navigation problems are in a group called navigation problems. So you want to click on that. And now is when you definitely want to select your license. So um, if you are a third mate, second mate, any gross tons, you're going to want to choose this one right here, 14 BR. Okay. Um, and if you're a 500, 1600, you can choose 20, uh, 20 BR. The only difference between those two is that for the navigation in general, anybody that's getting a miracle, uh, excuse me, if you're getting an ocean license, you want to go for this one, whether you're 500, 1600, or third mate. But if you're getting a near coastal license, which means you'll be 500 or 16 without oceans, then you can choose this license. And the only difference is, is that in the nav general section, you won't get questions about selecting navigation. Okay? So here we go. So I choose that. Great. Um, Actually, before we go there, I just want to show you a uh, test that I made, okay? So you see this right here in my tests uh, just a couple days ago here. Uh, well, I don't know when you're watching this video, but uh, on a particular date in January, I made this test. Near Coastal Module TNAV Comprehensive Gift from Captain T. Uh, and uh, this test has got 57 questions on it. Now, the near coastal module will have 10 questions. You must get a 90%, which means you have to answer at least nine correctly. And uh, there are you know, several hundred questions that you could possibly get, and you would only get 10 of them. Well, what I did was I went through all of the questions, and I selected 57 that are pretty representative of all the different types you could get. Okay, So uh, I highly recommend you actually take this test. All right, and then you can use uh, uh, lapware to focus in on problems that you're having. Well, let's not worry about that right now. This is how I actually generated that test. Okay, so I went in here, I chose 13 BR, and I hit go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna now I just make sure I'm in the right book. Navigation. Oh, I don't want to be in navigation general. I want to be in navigation problems. Okay. So navigation problems is chart plot. Celestial navigation, which is with the which the Coast Guard calls ocean, and terrestrial navigation, which the Coast Guard calls near coastal. Those are the three different modules. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to pare this down. Okay. So I'm doing TNAV. So what I want to do is one of these two, right? Terrestrial observations, terrestrial navigation. Ah, terrestrial navigation. Let's start with that. Let's see what's in there. So I click on that, and I look here. Oh, river navigation problems. What river? That doesn't sound right. You know, this is not for you. But here's how you would know. Just click apply. There's no question found. This is um, this is probably questions for pilots on the Mississippi River, okay, or something like that. So what that means is that we don't have to worry about terrestrial navigation. Okay? What we do want to do though is I'm going to back up now, level by level, and let's go back in here. I want terrestrial observations. Let's see what happens when I click on that. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. So look, I got all the Block Island Sound charts. I got all the Long Island Sound charts. So I can go through all the chart plots uh, for those various places. Great. But now I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I'm gonna, I want to focus in on other TNAV things, not chart plots. So I'm going to click on bearing problems. So I click on bearing problems. Now I'm terrestrial observations, bearing problems. Now let's see what my subcategories are. Ooh, I got table seven, table seven, distance off when a beam, required distance, time of beam. And if uh, I look over here, I don't see uh, any additional items below. So this is all there are right now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click these one at a time. Okay, let's see now. Oh, okay, nothing there. This is any, all right. So this is the end of it. I click that. There are 20 questions. Okay, there's 20 questions, terrestrial nav observations, bearing problems, distance by two bearings, table seven. Ooh, this is table seven, this is distance at second bearing. So now I read this question. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, so I'll do that one. Okay. And if I get jammed up, I can click solution. All right. And bada bang, bada bang. I can follow along if I have a problem. All right. I can see what they did, how they interpolated. Oh, yeah, that's one interpolation. Oh, that's great. All right. So then I answer that question. Now I move on. I'll do another one. Okay. So yeah, I do that one. This is great. Now here's the thing. You'll notice as I'm clicking from question to question, 
look at look at how this question appears. Okay, there's a certain number of words, and there's a, there's a period, and then a question mark. Look, I'm going to go to the next question. Just look at those questions. It looked like it didn't change at all. You know why it didn't change? Because all they changed were these numbers. So what 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 you've got going on here is that of the 20 questions that are here, the first four are the same basic format. But that doesn't mean that all 20 are the same basic format. So after I do uh, two or three of those, I'm going to start going through this and look for questions that have a different format. Same format. Okay? Same format. Same format. Same format. So I'm just going to kind of click through these guys looking for something that looks different. Because a different format is what could throw me on the exam. Okay? So uh, let's see. Did the format change a little bit on that one? Oh, you know, it changed, uh, maybe slightly. I'll take a look at this one. Oh, it did. Oh, you know, the thing, too, is you look at some of these questions and, oh, this is giving you it to you in degrees. True, okay, you can see here, 025 true, okay, 059 true. Uh, this one is true and true again. What's your distance at the second bearing? This one is true and true again, okay. But you come in here and you might find that they start giving you, like, relative bearings, okay. And that is the same basic problem but a slightly different style. Oh, look at this one. This one's got a lot of words in it. I would definitely take a look at this one and see if it's slightly different than the other ones. I might do this one as well, okay? Uh, true and true. Mm. Oh, this one is a little bit different. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Oh, I'm glad I clicked through. Oh, this is almost the last one, but look, this one is four points back the beam. Hey, you know what? If I got this question the first time on the exam, I might just totally choke on this, okay? But because I clicked through all 20, I'm going to do the ones that are different. I'm going to do some of the ones that are common and some of the ones that are different. And that way, I will not be surprised, okay? By the way, this question, I clicked through all these. When I made that TNAV comprehensive exam, I clicked through all these 20, and I chose two or three of these questions, and this was one of them because it was different. It's on that 57-question test that I put together. But this is how I generated it, and I recommend you do the same. So you go through the whole thing. There we go. I went through all of them. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, and you answer as many as you're going to answer. Okay, great. And if I get them wrong, I can come back. You remember that less than 70 thing? Oh, where is less than 70? I don't see it. I can click any, there's a little glitch in lap where I click any one of these, and then I go, go back in again, ah, less than 70. It'll show me all the questions I got wrong, okay? Great, now, I go back to question filters. So now what I wanna do is I wanna, I, I just did all 20 of these, let's see what else is there. Oh, now I'm gonna do distance by two bearings, distance off with a beam. So this was distance off at second bearing, now this is distance off a of beam. It's the same basic, problem except it's a different column in table seven so i click on that and i hit apply bada bing bada bang there's 11 of those so i'm going to go through and do the same thing i'm going to answer this question i'm going to answer the next question if i answer two or three of these i'm like great then i'm going to start going through and looking for ones that have different format so i look here same format same format look off a beam there's the question mark right there same format same format oh this is True, time, true, time. This one is true, time, true, time, same format. True, time, true, time, great, okay? And if I found one of these as I click along and started giving me relative bearings, I'd do one of those as well so to make sure I wouldn't get thrown. So I went through all of those, great, and I answered some number of those, maybe all of them, depending on how I did, okay? If I got, I did two or three right the first time I went through and I found no other different ones than that, I'd be done with this section. So now I've done two of those sections. Oh, let's see. So now I'm going to back. Uh, oh, I'm going to distance off a of beam now. Now you might think, well, I just did some distance off a of beam, but there's something different about these than the others. Let's apply. All right. Well underway. Oh, now we're talking about relative bearings and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, you see, these are not true bearings, they're relative bearings. So this is a slightly different type of question. Same basic idea, but slightly different presentation, okay? So you don't want to, on this module, you have to get a 90%. You don't want to go facing a strange question and be tired and fatigued and, and then have your brain shut down on you while you're trying to figure out what they're actually asking you. Don't be surprised. Go through the entire question bank, okay? 
by the way, there's only two of those. Oh, that's pretty nice. Look at that, one or two. So here we go. I do that for required course. How many of those are there? 20 of those. I do the same thing. Okay. And I'll do one more. All right. And then I'm going to now close out this section, time of beam. Oh, that, that just sounds like what it was before. But there's something different about these than the other ones. Okay, great. So that's something like 100 different questions that I've just gone through now. Okay. And again, click through, look for different formats, different ways they're presented. Okay. All right, great. Now what I'm going to do is I did all that. Now what I want to do is I want to get out of bearing problems and go into the next category. But I can't just do that, okay, directly. I, if I hit clear, I'll start all over again. I'll have to set terrestrial observations, blah, 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 blah. Here's what I can do. I can kind of back up gradually. I want to get out of this. I can just click any again, okay? And I come here. I click any here. All right, and now I can go back in. So I did bearing problems. Now I'm going to do bearing special case. So all of these were table seven or Sokotoa. Now I'm going to do special case ones where I can just look at page, uh, whatever page it is in, in Bowditch 2, uh, and uh, I can see the special case rules like uh, bow beam, uh, 22 and a half, 45, at table 101 or whatever it is, uh, all that stuff. Okay, so now, oh, here, bow beam bearing. So I can focus in on them. And you see how we do this. And you're going to end up going through all of these subcategories, okay? And it'll take you some time, but in the end, see, here you go. You can pull this down. You can keep going, okay? Set and drift. You do these, you're going to be in pretty good shape. The thing that will be missing from the TNAV section here is tides and currents. Tides and currents are not in this terrestrial observations, navigation problems for some reason or other. I don't know why, but I tell you, I'll show you where they are. You're going to need to do tides and currents as well. Tides and currents are in navigation generally, okay, because they're also in that module. And here you go. You go here, tides and currents, okay. And then I can go currents. I want calculations. This is just general knowledge, okay, but I want current calculations. And when I'm in current calculations, look, okay, there's more current calculations than tide calculations because in here you also have your rotary currents, wind-driven currents, uh, and you also have your current diagrams. Anyway, you need to go through these things methodically. I have done that for you, okay? I have done that for you, and that is what this is, okay? So if you take this test, all right, take test, there's 57 questions. Like, oh, man, I don't want to do 57 questions, but... You'll notice many of these questions are similar, but they're not the same. They're different presentations of similar questions. So I highly recommend that you either, and I, I really think you should go through and do this on your own, but if you're feeling a little lazy, you can take this 57-question test that I put together, take it over and over again. And when you get questions wrong, you can reset answers. Okay. The other thing, too, is that when you get a question wrong, let's say I do this, right? I'm like, oh, damn, that's question 1776. It's in the near coastal module, right? Question 1776, book five. Well, guess what? If I want to do all the questions like that, I go to review questions. Book five. Go. All right. Now I go here. Question 1776. Great. I say, go do it. Now, that's the question that was on the test that I got wrong. Now, here's a beautiful thing. Focus study. I hit set filter to question displayed. It's going to show me every other question that is exactly like that. Okay? And I can now go through those guys. Okay? All right. Again, 90%. Very little tolerance for error. You must focus significant energy on this module if you want to pass. Study hard. Good luck.